you can use an M8 by 125 bolt, thread it in the hole to pry out the drum. We had previously removed the brake shoes and springs. That is why you do not see them in this image. We decided to remove the axles from the vehicle. There are four bolts on the back of the dust cover. Remove those, the axle should slide directly out. We cut the emergency brake line because we knew we would be replacing it. Here is a rough marking of where we plan to grind on the back cover. We finished grinding. We've also tapped out the four spline bolts. We will be replacing them with bolts that are half inch longer. Continue grinding until the backing plate is completely removed. With the backing plate completely cut off, we have replaced the axle into the differential shaft, mounted the rear disc brake bracket, and bolted in all four bolts. By adding the rotor, we are losing a half inch on our lugs, so we decided to replace all of our bolts. We cut off a little bit of the head to match the old bolts. We took an old socket, used a half inch bit to drill out the backside, placed that over the new lug bolt, and tightened down using a lug nut. We put a couple old sockets over the two nuts that we will be using to pry against, just to protect the threads. We're using this breaker bar, and that will actually pull the new bolt into the back of the hub which will catch the splines and those lugs will be good to go. Just gonna place the rotor over the hub, attach the brake hose to the caliper. We added a little brake pad lubricant to prevent squeaking. Using the clips, we have installed the brake pads. We're just putting the caliper over the rotor. We had to get a modified brake hose to fit. You may or may not have to, but this is the last step.